Vika's rapidly growing population is facing considerable problems with the supply of clean and safe drinking water, forcing the Vika Water and Sewage Company, Tiwasco, to come up with various ways to mitigate the problem. Among these methods include water rationing programs where residents from different parts of the town receive water at different times and sometimes in lesser quantities than they require. Currently, Kiwasco's water treatment plant has a capacity to produce slightly over 39,000 cubic meters daily against a daily water demand of slightly over 70,000 cubic meters. Following this deficit, which is about 39,000 cubic meters of water daily, Tiwasco has come up with various temporary measures such as water rationing as they embark on short, medium and long-term programs to alleviate this program once and for all. Among these measures include rehabilitation and expansion projects on the existing treatment plant and sinking several boreholes to increase the annual water supply from 12.7 million cubic meters in the year 2015 to the current annual production of 14.6 million cubic meters of water. The Wasco serves over 370,000 in Pika town and its environs with 40,544 and 15,116 water and sewer connection respectively. It has a sewer treatment capacity of 17,500 cubic meter per day. This was among the information delivered during the company's annual stakeholders meeting. The Wasco Managing Director Engineer Moses Kenya said that the game changer shall be the completion of the Karimenu Dam second water project funded by the government of Kenya which will add 20,000 cubic meters of water daily and the Danida funded project that will add over 36,000 cubic meter of water supply per day. The last time the water treatment plant and sewer system had developmental upgrades was in 1991, a whooping 32 years ago. Uh, this is our feed data. Uh, our, the population within our service area is uh, 370,000. Uh, active water connections is 40,544. Uh, that means we are among the very large companies uh, as per classification by WASLED. Uh, anybody with over 35,000 water connections uh, is classified as uh, very large. So we are in the same grouping with Nairobi, Mobasa, Kisumu, Eldoret, uh, Nakuru, Nyeri. So we are in that category of very large. Water production. Uh, have, we have grown it from 12.7 uh, 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 million liters to 14.6 million, uh, sorry, 12.7 million cubic meters to 14.6 million cubic meters. And uh, we are also rated at 68% by our customer. We carry out customer satisfaction survey every two years as required by Waslet. We were also ranked 13 out of the 87 or eight, eight uh, utilities uh, in the country. Samuel Odiambo from Adi Waterworks Development Agency, AUDA, said that funds for the Karimenu Dam second water project were already available and it will take about 18 to 24 months to be complete. For the Danida project, Odiambo said that the designs process which was expected to take about 16 months, we are already ongoing and thereafter construction commenced to be completed after another three years to round May of the year 2020. Basically, we have water components we, where we are proposing to do um, small dams uh, uh, along Pika River and Chania River and of course Karimenu River. And we are also going to do a water treatment plant just adjacent to the one that is existing. We are also proposing to do rehabilitation uh, of the existing water treatment plant to ensure that it is the efficiency is improved and then it produces water at full capacity. Then there will be network, the water reticulation and distribution network. Uh, and on sewerage, of course, there will be aspects of uh, 
the wastewater treatment plants, three of them. I think the MD mentioned Nanga, Katwanyaga, and Pilot areas. And there will be also sewerage network improvement and also rehabilitation of the existing uh, sewerage network, uh, not network, but uh, water wastewater treatment plant, the existing one. It's a project that should take, from an engineering perspective, perspective it should take uh, around 18 to 24 months uh, because engineering projects have challenges. So, um, of course, we will likely sign a contract with about 18 months and then it take into consideration any delays that might come in between during implementation, we give or take 18 to 24 months. Um, for the NIDA project, as I said during my presentation, the designs are currently ongoing and we have a consultant who has signed a contract with us. That has been, uh, the contract is 16 months on paper and we are hoping that we are going to be able to stick to the 16 months for design. If you count that, then by um, March, the March next year, we should have finalized the designs. And hopefully, when the contract, the procurement is complete for the works contractor, the works maybe should start uh, uh, in May of 2024. And it is a very big project, so we are giving it from an engineering perspective again about three years to completion. Um, so we are talking about. Uh, hopefully May 2026 when the project is, uh, we are hoping will have been completed, completely to be operational. That is from an engineering perspective. So I'm not giving you concrete dates, I'm giving you estimated dates. Uh, so 36 months for construction and there will be, of course, as I say, uh, one year for DLP and another one year for technical assistance. I'm Moses Kinya, I'm the managing director of Thika Water. Today we held a uh, stakeholder consultative meeting uh, which we normally held, hold every year as, requ as required by uh, our regulator and the purpose is to engage our customers in getting feedback and also updating them on our operations as well as uh, updating them on uh, any plans that we have to improve uh, the services to them or expansion project was uh, commissioned in 1981 and no other major water project has been done in Thika in terms of water production. So the demand has outstripped uh, the production. The other challenge is the dilapidated infrastructure uh, as a result of uh, uh, aging uh, because the infrastructure that we have was laid some of it in the 50s. So maintenance cost is very high and breakdown rate is very high. Uh, to mitigate against the various uh, uh, challenges, one of them we have uh, projects aligned by our national and county governments. Uh, one of them, as we have been told today, is uh, the Kagatodo water project, the Kalimeno Dam 2. A pipeline that will bring an additional 20,000 meter cubed of water to Thika. The other one is uh, the Danida project, uh, funded by Danida Sustainable Infrastructure Finance, DSI, DSIF, and uh, this project is advanced. Uh, visibility study is complete and project approval done, and we are in the detailed design. Uh, this project will bring an additional that 6,000 meter cubed a day of water as well. It will have, uh, it will increase uh, sewerage network, uh, both trunk and uh, laterals. Uh, and we'll have new additional wastewater treatment plant at the uh, Pirot, Nanga, at Krimabogo. And this project, uh, the, or these plants, sewerage plants will be conventional ones that will be able to generate electricity with biodigesters uh, so as to reduce the cost of, electri of electricity. Also, you have new intake from uh, the proposed dam, which will bring water by graphite, thereby also reducing uh, electricity cost. We are also exploring, uh, it will also include amine hydro at the, at the, at the falls at the br near Brewpost which also reduce our power consumption.
in addition to uh, other green energy solutions like solar, uh, solarization of uh, pumping stations and particularly the boreholes. Korea, the FCC in charge of water, environment and uh, natural resources in Kiambu County. Uh, I was able to uh, inform them about the vision for the county in terms of providing water together with the national government. You know, and as I know, uh, the government position, the county position, the national government position is to bring uh, more extra 20 million liters uh, daily from Karimenu. That has already been discussed at national level and uh, His Excellency the President through the Governor of Kiambu has already okayed that and um, um, as I'm, I'm speaking here, I'm told uh, these funds that's, uh, that, that is going to come to uh, the other water through, I mean to the through the water and in consultation with the county to expand uh, the water here, the water facilities and also to reticulate water to different places, particularly Goriba, um, Gatuanyaga, and all areas that we don't have water. So that is going on, and we have already studied, they have been done, consultations have been done uh, together with the water, the county, and the consultants who were supposed to do that. So that is going. We have also discussed at length the need for us to secure our water sources. In the past, and I have said it in the past, we were concentrating in selling water and, uh, and, and forgetting where the water is coming from. So we have agreed that all the water companies and the stakeholders, they will join hands in securing our water sources, but, uh, particularly the upstream by planting trees and growing those trees and protecting the, the Irapelian area. My name is Wagoliba Ward. Na kwanza ni kushukuru Diwasco kwa ile effort wametuonyesha sasa ya kuwekea watu maji. Kijiji kama Goliba Village sasa wameanza kukonektua maji na mita. Tena ninge shukuru national government kwa hii mbradi yao ya wenye wana, zile pesa wametutengia kama thika 5.7 billion za kuteremsha maji kutoka Karimino, wateremsha main pipe na Garissa Road hadi kule upande wa Goliba. Hiyo mbradi itatuwezesha watu wa Goliba, watu wa Magogoni, Gatuanyaga na Landless kuweza kupata maji. Tena ninge uliza county government wa hawarakishe kulilize zile shamba walipo na Del Monte wape 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 diwasco ile shamba ya Kilimambogo yenye wanataka kutengeneza utra purification plant ya kuosha maji ili watu hiyo ile ya magogoni na ile nyingine ya Kilimambogo na Katuanyaga waweze kupata maji safi tena ningeuliza watu wa the water watutengee pesa hii damu iko hapa hapa ile damu ilikuwa Del Monte ya zamani katikati ya BAT na shamba ya Del Monte penye maji ya ya ukulima ya dumago na maji ya matunda ya ukulima penye imetoka hiyo damu irevaiviwe tuweze kuweka mashini ya ultra purification hapo yenye itaweza kuosha maji ya kwenda kisi na ya kwenda landless na gatuanyaga na iteremke uh, kwa majina naitwa Jack Ma ambaye ni mheshimiwa wa pale gatuanyaga ward siku ya leo tulikuwa tumekusanya hapa kwa hii mkutano ya leo tulikuwa tumearikwa na viwasko kama stakeholders na tuko na matumaini kama wakaaji wa Vika na wakaaji wa Katua Nyaga, Goriva, Kamenu na hapa Vika Town na Hospital ya kwamba kutakuwa na, na, na maji itaongezeka kutokana na ile Karimino Dam ambayo president mwenyewe aliweza kuahidi atapeana pesa ambayo itawekwa kwa budget kwa hivyo maji itaenda kuongezeka na tunaona hiyo itakuwa kama game changer hapa Vika Town